This is Raleigh, 117 Southwest Street, an old warehouse that currently looks and feels like it could be a secret hideout in Eastern Europe during the Cold War days. Burning Coal Theater director Jerome Davis knew this was the perfect venue for his series of plays set in Eastern Europe in the days before and after the fall of the Berlin Wall and figuratively speaking, the Iron Curtain. We had a walk through of four or five spaces in the downtown area and this was the first one that we came to and I, I didn't really want to go to go to see the others because I knew immediately that this was the one we wanted. There is something about this space that, that really lends itself to feeling like you're really there, like you're really in a, in, in a dangerous and, and uh, scary place. I think the venue has an incredible amount of potential. It's just this, this really big raw space that we can kind of do a whole bunch of stuff with. There will be a whole lot of stuff to do. The Burning Coal Theater Company has a reputation for tackling challenges, and the Iron Curtain Trilogy is just that. Never before has any company performed the entire series in repertory. That's one after the other after the other, in the same venue on the same weekend. And each one of them has a different set and a different audience configuration. So one is done in the round, one is done in what's called three-quarter thrust with the audience on three sides, and then the other one is in an alley configuration with the audience on two sides and the actors playing in the middle of that. So we have to change out not only the set every night, but we have to change out the audience uh, risers as well. So, you gonna let Bruce go? Rearranging the furniture is one thing. Acting out one character on a Friday and different ones on Saturday and Sunday will be the challenge actors must deal with. After the debacle of last Saturday. You know, people sometimes ask, how do you do that? And you just do. And for me, a lot of it is just the costume. As long as I put on the right costume, then, then mentally, emotionally, psychologically, I'm ready, I'm there. Uh, I, I was, I was uh, uh, appointed to All three of the plays, Shape of the Table, Pentecost, and The Prisoner's Dilemma, are fictional. But like any good Burning Coal production, there will be a lot of burning questions and discussion to be had after the curtain falls, or in the case of this space, after the actors leave the building. For me as a person, you know, having been in theater for over two decades, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to tell people how to feel about things or what to think about things, but I want to give them in the time that we spend together an opportunity to do exactly that so that the conversation can keep going. I mean, if we're not talking, sometimes we're just fighting. And so that's sort of personally where my stake is. The fall of the Berlin Wall is the symbol of the dissolution of the Iron Curtain. Twenty-five years ago, nobody could have predicted just how imminent and dramatic these events would be. The characters are literally fighting for their lives. They're, um, they're fighting for uh, power. Uh, they're fighting for identity. Uh, and they're fighting for peace. To make it more dramatic, none of them have the slightest idea how to proceed because it's a whole new world for them. And so they're, um, they're, it's like a two people, if you could imagine two boxers blindfolded in a ring, you know, that's what the plays feel like to me. Uh, and you never know when the next punch is going to land. The Iron Curtain Trilogy, written by Tony Award winner David Edgar and directed by Jerome Davis of the Burning Coal Theater, runs from September 4th to the 27th in Raleigh. The company then takes the shows on the road to perform at the Cockpit Theater in London in November. I'm Rick Sullivan for North Carolina Weekend. The Iron Curtain Trilogy runs from September 4th through the 27th, and they can all be seen in one weekend. Remember, the plays will be at a special location, 117 Southwest Street in Raleigh. For more information and ticket purchases, go to burningcoal.org or call 919-834-4001.